Anyway, welcome, or welcome back to Fairy Terry. My name is Berlin, and we are today at Final Fantasy XIV. The stream did just drop. I really hope it doesn't do that again. Uh, you know, the world may be ending, so. Hi, JC. Maybe it's a limsa that's <laughs> causing it. It's like, it can't handle it. Hi, Gemini. See if just put it away from all these people. That, oh, that's not what I went to. I went right back to all the people. Ah, uh, this is gonna be it. I was just trying to think of where Red Rooster Stead is, and then my stream had to crash. Maybe that's better. <laughs> Get away from everybody. Uh, Libsa likes to throw it. I don't know, it's a party right now, because it's, you know, that time of day, I guess. Uh, it's good. I think if we go here, then we could take a chocobo border. Hopefully. Right. Yeah, yeah! We did that dungeon. Did the first dungeon? What is it? Sass Sistana or something like that? So, this was stuff that I had acquired. I'm so sad I only have the free trial because I've met some really nice people that inv are inviting me to their guilds and like try to chat with me from like. They just see it on YouTube and they reach out to me and I'm like, I can't chat with you because I have a free trial and I'm super restricted. But I appreciate anybody reaching out with advice or what I did friend request. There we go. Yeah, let's try this chocobo. Because uh, someday we'll get a chocobo of our own. But today is not that day. I would like to, but I'm just gonna wait till I get further in the free trial. Money's a little tight right now, so unfortunately. <laughs> so it goes, but that's why I was like, well, I'll try the free trial for a little bit and, you know. Yeah, yeah, Chocobo. They're so cute in this game. Like, super adorable. They look more realistic, but it's adorable. Little so fun. I think first mount is at level 30, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. So over right now, I can't control this guy. He just runs. There are smart birds. They're trained like homing pigeons. <laughs> Oh cool! I was wondering, because I've seen a couple different colors. <laughs> no. Don't need to choke a <sighs> My door is so thin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Quiet. gosh, I didn't know that that affected it. Like, that you could give them different amounts for different colors. That's so funny. The light pink chocobo's gotta be pretty cute, though. Yeah, I'm like right on top of this guy. Okay, well, where are you, Deadard? I remember when I was doing quests here, I kept getting confused because it's like the buildings are just right in the center. 
I have to run around and really <laughs> stick it at you. Claire, is he in this tent? Nope. Oh, can you go Aha! It's good time. Look at this old guy. Thank the gods your ear. Seems my grandson is set on causing not much trouble for you. But surely you can... <laughs> Ow, the lad is feeling. Ow, he's boiling with eight for that murderous beast. And the last time, when you came along like an avenging angel and showed him the strength of your steel, well, he lit a fire in his belly. He must have got it in his head to take revenge on the beast himself, daft little bugger. Any road, once he read, once he heard, Kujata had been spotted near Aleport. Why, he shot through that door like an arrow from a bow, and I ain't seen him since. <laughs> it is really cool. I beg of ye, find me little Sigurd before he gets a self stomped to death. That big bastard of rocks has spilled more than enough of me kid's blood. Man, these, these accents, it's a lot. Our course is clear, we must set out for Aleport at once. An old acquaintance of mine, Farston, often stands guard at the port gates. He might know something of the lad's whereabouts. Acquaintance, you say? Is this perhaps an ex lover? <laughs> Jeez, all that. Now we gotta go back to Aleport. Hey, yikes. At least I can teleport there. <laughs> Spends all of my money though. All of my money. Ooh, horse. That's a free kitty key. <gasps> what is it? I wanna really like the horse. Does is that Odin's horse? It's got six legs. It's cool. Ah, there's so many cool mounts and pets you could get in here. I just want everything. Person uh, up on the wall, perhaps? Maybe? <laughs> That's what I say. I, they're, they're not working like they should. Sun and moon. Get it together. I feel like I heard somebody say that though, like the news was saying those who are in certain areas might get, might end up with different problems like the solar flares or whatever, I don't know. Could be wrong, but I thought I'd heard something about it. <laughs> oh, she's probably in a building too or something. Yeah, serious stuff. Just doesn't want me to play my video games today. <laughs> yes. Krillin. Oh, that's not the right one. Let's look at it that way. Where am I supposed to go? This way. Right here. Jeez. <laughs> it's like, wait, Aleport probably ran past and didn't even realize. <laughs> no, clearly. There we go. Hello, ex-acquaintance. Have I seen a boy wandering about by himself? As a matter of fact, me and my fellow gate guard here just watched a young lad traipsing off to the north. 
We were arguing whether or not to abandon our post to bring the child back ourselves. Large packs of jackals have been prowling the wilds of late, so if you need to head after him, pray do so quickly. Bells, I might even pass along word to the Marauder's Guild. You'll be better off with an extra blade or two at your back. Yeah, you guys are really, really great. <laughs> Just let the kid go. Uh, gotta find signs. Is that a sign up there? Looks like it. This poor kid better not be dead. <laughs> Dubby. Oh! The tech. Exactly, Lee. It's like, what the heck? Oh! talk about <laughs> oh okay I was gonna say do I have to go back to that guy and be like look what you did he dropped his stuff no I gotta go to so queen where are they now Here, I guess. Oh, yeah, she's just standing here. So, have you found any sign of Sinhard? Yeah. Found his water skin and his satchel. He must have been in a desperate hurry indeed to cast away his belongings in such a careless manner. I myself came across this wood axe, a tool the lad took from the stead, perhaps? Oh, sorry. Clicked it. Level 24. Ooh. This is gonna be tough. We're only level 23. <gasps> Oh, 
part of the job quests. I just don't want to fall too far behind. They're kind of going back and forth between us. Oh, cool. breathes yet. Uh, we withdraw to the red rooster's said, followed by lead. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't sure if we could have to fight this guy or not. Rooster's dead. <laughs> Can I raise the trouble over there again? <laughs> no? Dude, where is Red Rooster's dead? Did I ride the chocobo for the floor? So we for it, I think. Or so perch. Yeah, so perch. Who knows? We'll get there somehow. This thing is exactly where it is. Oh, it's the Murabi decks. I think dry docks or whatever. You can run up from there, I think. I was playing with my friends a little bit last night and I got to the gold saucer as well as, uh, where was it? Uh, I don't know, we were just kind of going around like, just adventuring. Is this where, is it the dry docks? I don't know how much money I owe, 1,000. I think it's like upwards from there. It's a long bit of a travel, but the bird. See if I can get the, the chocobo one from here. <laughs> ah, probably not. I don't usually get addicted to gambling in games. Although, um, it's like it's cool because they have um, for one of the events, like the roller coaster, and that was my favorite mini game at in the original Final Fantasy VII. 
Well, I guess second favorite, because I really like the snowboarding one. But I love the roller coaster, and they changed it for Final Fantasy VII Reboot. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> no, but it is really cool. I like the, that they have like the random events and stuff. That's so neat. There we go. We do the chocobo again. And then you gotta love the gold saucer theme music. That's always fun. It's really cool that they included it in this this world. Yes, it was so fun. I hope they bring it back for uh, the last part of the remake. It's hinted at it, or maybe they could give it as a DLC. Although I think you're not allowed to snowboard until you go to the one wintery place anyway, which we haven't gone to in the game. So, hopefully that means it's still coming. <laughs> it looks like it. Kind of peaceful at night with no music, just riding the chocobo through the fields, past all these little monsters. Too cute. Thanks, thanks, bird. Oh yeah, he was inside. Well, let's go see how that kid is doing. Uh, so up here. Uh, well, here's your child. <laughs> I present to you your child. You brought him home. I don't got the words to thank you. The lad's past the worst of it. He struck his head in the fall, though, and it may be some time before he opens his eyes. Thank you for coming. Brother, if you hadn't sh scattered those jackals when you did, I have done naught to earn your thanks. When I learned of the situation from Aleport, I realized the dangers were greater than I had anticipated. No single marauder could have hoped to fend off such numbers in time. Pray accept my apologies, Nedard. You turned to us for help, and yet your grandson now lies before you, broken and battered. You risked your lives to save little Sigurd. I was a man to find fault with that. It's me who ought to be begging forgiveness for the wounds you took protecting me, foolish boy. You needn't concern yourself with our well-being. Our training prepares us for such eventualities. <laughs> there is not more that we can accomplish here, Burr. It is time we return to the guild and focused on other tasks. Alright. Gotta go back to the Marauders Guild. Okay, everybody, hold on to your hats. Let's hope we don't get kicked going in the limbs of the limbs. Hi, Chip. I'm glad the lad will live, but I fear this will not be the last time Sigurd abandons caution in his thirst for vengeance against Kujata. The wound in his heart festers and seethes, feeding his impatience at our seeming inaction. 
Hi there, sexy. But we must not think ill of the boy. Instead, let his helpless rage be as a spur to our efforts. I say again, Bear, Kujata will fall by your head. I will shape you into the deadly weapon you need to be. Woohoo. Okay, glitch. No more chop. No more chop chop. -y. Better behave itself. What does this look like? The the helmets always look so weird. <laughs> it's definitely a look, all right. Oh. Every so often you get a cool hat or something, but I usually, I really prefer not to have them showing. Alright, so where do we have to go for this? Oh, I need to clear that. <laughs> yeah! Got some cool stats. You know how I do. Where am I supposed to go for this call in the forest? Though? Oh, I think I'm supposed to go to the drowning winch. Yeah, it's definitely a look. Wouldn't necessarily say if it's a good or a bad look, but it is a look. I do really like the top though. I think it's cool. Yeah, no Jedi, <laughs> no Jedi robes for the, the Marauders, for tanks. Ooh. That makes sense. I can see a paladin would have a hood. This is, I'm pretty sure this is the next question. Yes. This is our main story here. Ready to hear about that job then? Like I said, the request comes from our sister guild in Gredania. And that's all I know. But whatever it is you get asked to do, I somehow doubt it impose any trouble for a venturer as survive the bedlam in Sestasha. If you think you might be interested, you want to have words with Mother Mion, the counterpart in Gredania. Good luck, lass. Oh. That's all I had. <laughs> oh. Help, oh, then it's do the airship. I really like Gridania. I would li I would seriously live there. So pretty. Is that the gold saucer stuck in my head? See? That's why these chats are great, because you never know what you can learn. I love... I love that about my chats. Just bring people together. <laughs> I haven't seen everything else yet, but I definitely really like Gridania. It's so pretty. Gold Saucer was really fun. 
definitely looking forward to it. It's exploring more gold saucer. Uh, let's see, gotta go to... Gridania is a little confusing though. Not gonna lie. Too far. Oh yeah, is it right here? Oh, okay, I see. Oh, that wasn't far at all. <laughs> take a seat wherever you like, friend. Our waitress will come to take your. Oh, but you're to die. Dare I hope that you're the adventurer Bedaron said word about? You are. The matron be praised. New hairstyles that you can't get, like, when you first join, like, first start. Ex exclusive hairstyles. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mion, and the Carline Canopy is my place. With regard to the task in question, there's a fair bit to tell. Let me know when you're ready to hear the details, and I shall brief you. That's cool. I like when games do that. It's like, you get so many to start with, but then... It just, it keeps you wanting to play more. Well, you better brief me then, lady. I am all ears. Ready for that briefing? Good. Now then, here's the long and short of it. Beg pardons for interrupting me, own, but our need grows ever more pressing. Have none stop, step forward. And good evening to you too, Bow Lord. Your need must be, your need must be pressing indeed for you to honor us with a visit. The good news is, your journey hasn't been wasted. I'm pleased to report that we have your, a volunteer at last, and one who comes highly recommended at that. Whoa, is this Robin Hood? <laughs> but thanks for answering the call, friend. My name is Lewin, and I lead the men and women of the God's Quiver. Now, time is of the essence, so I, I shall proceed directly to the heart of the matter. We wish for you to nip a potential threat to Gridania in the bud. Beneath the central shroud, there lies an underground burial site called the Tomtara Deepcroft. The place was once a Gilmorian settlement, but we Gridanians have long interred our dead here. Of late, however, shadowy figures have been skulking about the Deepcroft with ever-increasing regularity. Oh no, is it the Whispers? <laughs> Based on the accounts of various witnesses, we suspect that these individuals belong to the Lambs of Dalamud, a doomsday cult which sprung up prior to the Calamity. These zealots have proven themselves dangerous in the past. We leave them to their own devices at our peril. Ordinarily, I would have dispatched my best men to scour the Deepcroft with orders to flush the cultists out. Alas, the Calamity decimated our ranks, so the limited forces at my disposal are constantly required to keep the Ixal at bay. The birdmen have grown restless of late, and I fear storm may be brewing. In anticipation of this, I have been compelled to spread our forces throughout the Twelve's Wood, lest we be taken unawares. The situation so being, we must turn to others to deal with the Lambs of Delamud. Can we rely on you to undertake the task, friend? You have my gratitude. Once you have seen to your preparations, pray make your way to the Deep Croft and identify yourself to the guard posted at the entrance. He will apprise you of the latest developments. That is all. Be careful out there, you hear? May the crystal guide you and keep you. Da -da -da. All right. Fire the glue. The entrance of the tone tower. Exactly is that though? Where am I? Huh. Oh, where do I have to go? Oh. Is 
residual shroud. Well, big person. I like these to get it on their lady shroud. Now the ladybugs. The ladybugs got each other's backs. Whoa, the tree end. Crazy. Okay, so yeah, it's still this way, I think. Look at these little squirrels, so cute. I'm ready right over. Oh, it's so pretty. Wait, I think this is where you have to go past this. We have to keep going. A nice little stroll. Ooh. I had myself zoomed in because when they were talking, I forgot to zoom us out. Oh no. Don't we have to go down this Just not to be here and run to the bridge. Aha. The bridge. the right one. Gonna have to fight these guys. Oop, baby. Not those ones. They're being smart. Smart tonight. That way. Can I go up this way anyway? This guy could have walked with me. How am I supposed to know where this place is?
Ooh. That's Branch Meadows. We're just grand explorers. <laughs> they need more hoods that look good with ears. You know, I don't like the helms a lot because of the things on uh, their face. I don't know if their ears necessarily, but... Look this little one. Hello. <laughs> you there, adventurer. Yes, you will suffice. I have a job I need to perform. You are willing to pay the going rate. Trifling task. Really? I simply need you to ask locals here at Bent Branch Meadows what the head wrangler covets most in all the world. This is a private matter. Lest you doubt, so be sure to inquire discreetly. And please, for the love of Nald, do not reveal that you are in my employ. In fact, it would be best if my name wasn't mentioned at all. <laughs> It's so funny. Alright, well now I'm curious about this quest, so I'm gonna do it real quick. What does Kelta covet most? Why would you wish to know some- Wait a minute. That old, uh, merchant put you up to this, didn't he? He's wasting- He's wasting his time with that approach. If the man is serious about wanting a chocobo, he would be better served by convincing Kelta of his intent to provide the bird with the proper care and attention. <laughs> so this guy was a chocobo, so he's trying to... <laughs> to, like, bribe the guy. Kelta? Keitha? Kelta? I think it's Kelta. I'm calling him. Her. Them. Kelta. The only thing Kelta wants is for her birds to be happy. If she cares for anything besides the lobby of chocobos, then I've not heard of it. Oh my gosh, what did I do? Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> Chili coming around about Chili Chica. Chili coming around about Chica. Chili Chica. Chili Chica. What's that about, Miss Kelta? Oof, doing that peddler's dirty work, are you? If the half-wit thinks some shiny trinket will move her heart, that he's dafter than he looks. Any fool can see Miss Kelta is only interested in her birds. Tell Cuckoo Vachi from me that if he persists in harassing the head wrangler, the wood whalers will remove him from Bib Branch Meadows for disturbing the peace. Got that? <laughs> Nariko. Nariko the Nico. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Are you not an adventurer? I've seen you running to and fro, face set in grim determination as adventurers are wont to do, hence my presumption. If so, I've informa information which might interest you. Rumor has it that plots within the lavender beds are to be auctioned off. What's more, bidders need not even be Grandanian. Any old adventurer or wandering minstrel could, with sufficient funds, purchase land and build their own home. Considering how discerning the elementals tend to be about who can and cannot reside within the Twelve's Wood, it's rather surprising, if not hard to believe. But if there is truth to these rumors, well, who hasn't dreamed of owning their own forest cottage, perhaps with a small vegetable garden and stable large enough for a chocobo or two? Well, I've heard of that name, or that game. Uh, I can't remember what it is exactly, but I've definitely heard the name of the game. 
You know, should your travels take you to the mirror plaques where the fairy to the lavender beds is, perhaps you'll find a twin adder representative. Who can tell you more? I would be shocked if they weren't involved in such a monumental change of policy. Oh, wait. Anyway, let's go tell this guy to give it up. No, lay down. Well, do you plan to keep me in suspense? I must have a chocobo for my very... What's this? They told you nothing of her material desires? Ugh, the stubbornness of these Gredanians is infuriating. I should have known better than to hire a buffoon for such delicate work. Hey, to think of the amount of gill I have wasted on this fruitless venture. Oh, cease your muling. I promised you a reward, and a reward you shall have. Now leave me to my misfortune. Lay down. Get down. Who's you? A reward. Yeah. That'd be great, but I would take the experience and the gold. Chocobo reader. These days we have no shortage of fledgling race chocobos. Folks from the gold saucer have seen to that. Oh, I thought I could go in there and see more chocobos. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Keep moving forward. Nice little detour, though. Get to the bed. Hey, Berlin, I take it. Thanks for helping us out, Fred. No doubt the Bone Lord, Bone Lord has already informed you, but your task is to enter the deep croft and purge it of the lambs of Dalamud. In case you're unfamiliar with them, the cult emerged shortly before the calamity put it into the sixth astral era. The cultists took the lesser moon Dalamud. For their god, believing that it would deliver them from the devastation. And so they were rather disappointed when Dalamud exploded into a thousand flaming pieces before it could complete its descent. Now, having seen their god turn to ash, one would think that the cultists might feel moved to question their faith. On the contrary, it served only to stoke the flames of their fanaticism. The lambs of Dalamud are convinced that heretics 
that is to say, every one but them, interfered with the coming of their Lord and Savior, and that it's now their sacred duty to avenge him. Whatever it is they're doing in the deep croft, you may be sure that no good will come of it, for the sake of Redania and Orzea at large, put an end to their madness. Oh boy. Take a sip real quick. It's going to be exciting and terrifying. Get my NPCs. The guys I played with last time. Light party. What are you doing? This place is freaky. Let's see if I get those orbs. Okay. We would do well not to disturb the dead. Well, don't know if that's gonna happen. Must be another way. No. It's Kavuzi. Is there something that fell somewhere? Door there. 
Oh, we spread too fast. So it goes. Fire or er, scorch. Good job. Purple. I think I tried to use the title. I think it's these little things.
few pick at this. Those freaking bits. Grab that orb. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody else can take that. They don't have cloud hair, they do I'm surprised they don't have something like a Sephiroth hair either, like that log log hair. Good thing I play with NPCs and not real real people. <laughs>
<laughs> do you call them that to their faces? <laughs> It fun. You gotta joke around at work, otherwise it's so painful. Gotta keep it lighthearted. Exactly. Get those kicks. Under Cavalier's hat. Oops. <laughs> Impenetrable barrier, you say? Well then. Ooh. Oops. 
kick you in your face. Cultist Rosary. <laughs> How we open this impenetrable barrier? Yes. Gotta love a big cultist bit. Uh, there you go. Oh, everybody look at me. Look at me! Everybody come find me. <laughs> <laughs> That's another plundered grass. That's the second one of this touch. It's so funny. I really want to hand those out today. <laughs> Gosh. Come hither, children of the dawn, the undying master will drink. everything. Yeah, yeah, good job. <laughs> Keep me alive, yo. Ha! Ha 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 
this little touch. Sweet little chest. <laughs> Her face. I'll accept the next job, class, quest. Oh, the plundered badass. Man, it's all the same old crap. Well, oh, thanks. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs> Getting the hang of the tanking thing, I mean, I lost aggro uh, a few times, but definitely not as bad as the first dungeon. Except that one Lancer just wants to keep jumping ahead, so that doesn't help, but... Pretty it is, but it's all sunny and beautiful. Lucky at this chocobo post. like the other guy, Boronan or whatever his name is. I'm so bad with these names, they're so confusing because they're all like not real names. <laughs> they're tricky. Mother me owned. Welcome back, Burr. I'm reliably informed that your foray into the Deep Croft was a success. Nor did I expect anything less. Manoron's ringing endorsement left me a little doubt as to your capabilities. Even so, you are to be commended. Bolor Lewin asked me to pass on his thanks. I must say, it's something of a relief to be able to call upon such a capable adventurer. Sadly, death has become an even more common occurrence within our fraternity of late. Times being what they are, the guild is constantly inundated and... With petition, petitions that are hard pressed to find ha enough hands to deal with them all. Sorry, my dogs are being goofy. Shh. Well, this means no shortage of work for able souls such as yourself. It also provides ample opportunity for the inexperienced to overreach themselves with predictable consequences. Uh, as if to illustrate the point. <laughs> If he's gone, it's all your fault. If it hadn't taken you an age to heal him, he would still be alive. Oops. But but I tried. He bolted out of range before I could finish the spell. He shouldn't have been so hard-pressed in the first place. He should have done more to lighten his burden. Ah, to the hells with this pathetic excuse for a party. I'm leaving, and it'd be too soon if I ever never see your faces again. Goodbye and good riddance. Shh. 
I'm leaving as well. I doubt this comes as any surprise, but I never liked you. I only suffered you for your healing, but you couldn't even do that one thing right. Cruel, though, this may sound. You brought this upon yourself. Oh, and by way of some parting advice, get rid of Adavir's head. Per bury it. Cremate it. Do whatever the hell you like with it. But for God's sake, stop carrying it around. It's... it's... just get rid of it, alright? <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> but wait, don't leave me alone, please. I'm so sorry, Adavir. Please forgive me. Well, that was sad. <laughs> Scenes like this have become all too common. That makes a dozen times in half as many days. Now you see why I'm grateful for adventurers of your experience. I can send women like you on a mission without worrying that you might not return. Well, not so much at any rate. Speaking of missions, I would entrust you with another. About a bell ago, I received a message from my Count of Heart in Ulda. She seeks the services of a reliable adventurer, and you are nothing if not reliable. If you think you might be interested in this task, say the word and I will be glad to share the details with you. Cool. Well, I do think that is where I'm going to end for today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not yet. And keep an eye on that community tab. Uh, because that's what I will post when I'm streaming next. Also, once this video is edited, you will see links in the description to all my other internet, social medias, and such things. Uh, without, yeah, I think that's all. Alright, thank you guys so much. See ya.